and being built. So awesome. Uh, so Eamon, you know we got an email. We did get an email. Thank you, uh, people, for emailing good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Uh, email us about anything indie wrestling that, we, that you want us to talk about or discuss. Uh, definitely do that. Um, but it's from our good friend Alex Cars, who's got a birthday today. Hi, Alex. Happy birthday. Um, I got balloons for you over here. Happy birthday, <laughs> I got balloons for you that completely weren't here last week, too. I got a knife. I don't know. I was cleaning my nails with it. It's a birthday so. knife. It's a birthday <laughs> knife. Yeah. Commemorative birthday knife. Commemorative I love birthday it. knife. <laughs> uh, but he poses a discussion sort of question to us. Uh, he says that in, in his interview with Colt Cabana on Art of Wrestling, Mike Quackenbush spoke of pro wrestling as being, quote, a performance art, and that got me thinking. I've seen the, quote, small-time wrestling we love as either being indie wrestling or indie wrestling, uh, spelled out with an I. Uh, with the difference being whether you see it as a, some, more of a sport or an art form. What do you guys think? Do you see it more of one or the other? Do you see a bit of both? What spelling of indie indie do you feel more comfortable typing when writing about it on the internet? Uh, good question because any if you ask any – I know if you ask any sort of person, I guess, in the business as they say, uh, apparently it's indie with an IE because – in the indie with a Y is like Indianapolis. Funny enough, we named the show Indie Mayhem Show with a Y, and we're not changing it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> nope. Already made the graphic. Sorry about that. No. Nope. Sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, I, I love to you know with both you guys think sort of on this topic of whether you see – and it's a topic I guess a lot of comes with wrestling in general, but whether you see it more as a, a sport or an art. Oh, I guess I, I think even like, you know, I, I've talked to you before about on here about like kind of the different philosophies about how some of these shows come together here. And, and we, I don't know. I, I don't know if you can just throw it all as a art. I don't know. That yeah. seems a little broad. I, I think, I think there's some indies that don't consider themselves an art to a point. They're just like, we're just putting together some matches, you know? I mean, at least that's the attitude that gets conveyed. I think it gets guys like Jakar and everything, and, and they're doing something a little more interesting. So definitely fits more of those aspects. A uh, live-action comic book? So I guess mine would be kind of both. I don't know. Um, I don't see it as performance art, because really there's no risk, other than mm. just general unacceptance of the performance. Um, to performance art. Like, I've never seen a street mime in theory get punched so hard that it knocks him out. Unless it's by somebody who just really fucking hates street mimes. <laughs> <laughs> like that uh, Andy Samberg video, Punched Before Eating. Ah, that's hilarious. Um, so it's a combination of both. It's a, it's a risk-reward system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you perform, you're basically putting yourself out there, but you're also not only just putting out your creativeness, you're putting, you're putting your body on the line. You're putting your money where your mouth is. I think my performance is so good, I will risk life and limb for it. And you mm -hmm. really are. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I would definitely, I definitely agree with that. Um, I, I always lean, in a sense, I, I agree, it, there, it's definitely both, but I lean a bit more to art in a sense, in the sense that, in and it differs by companies, obviously on on an indie level. But I know some, I, like kind of like what Sword was going about, like how some companies are like, we have these matches, and it's sort of a sense of letting the ring work dictate, and and um, you you were good based off of you did a good job based off of how good of a match you had, mm -hmm. and then I know companies like Chikara that are doing more story stuff because they want to, sp to get a specific message across or, or to evoke a certain emotion um, based off of a story. So I could see it going both ways. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I, I lean slightly more towards art, but obviously um, there's the physicality involved and, 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 and like I, like Evan mentioned, like it's putting your body out there for, you know, that art form. So I, you know, so the more I'm thinking about this, is uh, I'm looking at the part of his question that was more of a sport or an art form. Um, so we're talking about something that's physical, something that you do are putting your body in the line. And I, I look at well, you know, we were talking earlier before about the acceptance of pro wrestling and how some of the local radio DJs were 
um, you know, really kind of bashing on it, Eamon. I know you were very involved in the chat room on that. And uh, yeah. and I got to think about, like, you know, what, you know, one thing I was saying is, like, well, this is a performance, and it's a story that's being told out, but the stage is in a ring in front of, you know, in, or if you were talking about WWE, 20,000 people or whatever. Um, but it's still a very, very physical stage performance in the long run. Like, is, is, that, is that fair to say, you think? I, I would test that. I don't know. Um, I, Evan, I, I obviously would know more of that situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, Evan, it would be, but yeah. <laughs> Evan, what are your thoughts on that kind of thought? What? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I, like I, I really okay. kind of, like like it's it. I I wouldn't consider it so much of a sport. It's not you know. It's more. I, I look at pro wrestling as it's like a stage performance in a ring, just a very very physical stage performance. If I were to take it on a level, like what would you consider that versus like say uh, another quasi similar thing would be like a, a, a circus where you have a trapeze artist and they're doing something physical, but it's an art form and it's a performance. Hmm. Uh, two things first. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this earlier, good use of the word curmudgeon. It's not used enough. I personally enjoy that word, so I was very happy <laughs> to hear it. Uh, an amazing Spider-Man poster in the background, by the way. Thank you. Uh, I have to disagree. I, I think wrestling is a sport. Okay. In a way. Um, sure, there's a lot of pageantry to it, but I don't – I think of the nicest way I can put this is I think it's a lot more of a sport than some of the sports we have, like baseball. Um, I mean, really, what is it? It's a strength competition and then a running competition. You hit the ball as hard as you can, and then you run as fast as you can. Uh, and then on the defensive side, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a game of catch. Um, I mean – does mm-hmm. that really necess- necessitate more of a sport than two people going out there and putting their bodies on the line? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, football, hockey, they're obviously more physical. Soccer can be more physical. Um, or football proper, as it were, can be more physical when need be. But generally, it's a sport about skill. And that's kind of what all sports are about, skill. Would you agree? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And wrestling is very much a sport about skill. Okay. And that's kind of how I look at it. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I agree. I think, I, 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 I think people, it, it's all, all in the definition of sport. Cause I think when people do the whole like sport to art comparison, they automatically think sport in the sense that, you know, it's a competition in the sense that anything can happen. Uh, but I, as far as, like you mentioned, like the physicality goes like the actual, um, what goes into it, you can't. You can definitely compare wrestling even higher, if not to the level of like a baseball, soccer, and definitely I, I, of, of those aspects. And I guess that's where, and I think we're just kind of thinking the same thing in two different ways. Because I, I, my definition of sport is there's a winner and a loser, you know, versus a this is a story that's being told side of things. But I see, I absolutely see where you're coming from too. So, awesome, awesome. But yeah, definitely. Uh, Thank you for the discussion question, Alex. Uh, like I mentioned, send in more questions uh, you want us to talk about with our guests, uh, whatever you want to do at goodtimesofwrestlingmayhemshow.com.